The 1970s, American astronomers Vera Rubin and Kent Ford are observing the Andromeda galaxy, our closest neighbor. At some point, they can no longer make sense of what is happening. Something must be wrong, either with their own eyes or with the laws of physics, because according to those laws, the galaxy should have long since broken apart into individual stars, and not just Andromeda, our Milky Way should have as well. Yet something is holding them together. This mysterious thing was named dark matter. It's invisible. It neither emits nor reflects light. Yet it's everywhere. It permeates the entire cosmos. Even now, it is there in your room. And for many years, scientists have struggled to understand what it truly is. That is, until the Euclid telescope came along. Its mission is to uncover this great mystery and much more. What did the Euclid telescope see beyond the veil of dark matter? Imagine you have a world map, but it only shows cities. No roads, no rivers, no terrain, just dots and patches. This is roughly our vision of the universe. We can see bright stars, supernova explosions, entire galaxies and their clusters, and even the shadows of black holes. But 85% of the matter in the universe remains invisible. That's dark matter. An unseen force that holds galaxies together yet seems to hide from us. And until now, we had no way to observe it. But that changed with the Euclid Telescope. It was launched into space on July 1, 2023, aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Euclid is currently stationed at Lagrange Point L2. Think of it as a cosmic parking spot where gravity is perfectly balanced, keeping everything in place, one million miles from Earth. But Euclid isn't alone. It has great buddies to keep it company. James Webb and Gaia are already operating there. But each telescope has its unique mission. And if telescopes were architects, Euclid would be the one redrawing the entire blueprint of the universe. But what exactly is it doing that Hubble or James Webb can't? Let's explain this with an example. This is the Hubble Ultra Deep Field, the famous image of a tiny patch of sky featuring around 10,000 galaxies. It took Hubble months to compile this image, and yet this is just a tiny fraction of the sky. You wouldn't believe how tiny it really is. The image covers just one thirteen millionth of the entire sky. Okay. Let's do the math. To capture a full sky map, Hubble would need 400,000 years just to take the images. If we add processing, calibration, and stitching everything together, we're talking millions of years of work. Meanwhile, Euclid plays by different rules. It might seem modest at first. Its mirror is just 3 feet 11 inches, compared to Hubble's 7 feet 10 inches and Webb's 21 feet. But its true power is a wide field lens. It takes a similar image in just one hour. And not just that, it captures a deeper and more sensitive view. It's like comparing painting with a brush under a microscope to taking a panoramic photo with one click. Another vivid example, imagine looking at the sky through binoculars. That's James Webb, zooming in on tiny details, but capturing only a small patch of the sky. Now, imagine a wide-angle camera. That's Euclid, taking a massive snapshot of the sky in one go. But a wide field of view is just part of Euclid's capabilities. It detects both visible light and infrared radiation, which allows it to see through dense dust clouds in deep space. It even captures how light from distant galaxies is bent due to the very same dark matter's gravitational pull. This means Euclid will be able to find millions of new galaxies and compare the distances between them at different stages of cosmic history. 
Yes, it's a magic telescope for studying the invisible, and we're already seeing the results. You might have thought its first images would be dull. Instead, it stunned everyone with cosmic art. Meet the Horsehead Nebula, one of the most iconic space objects. If you've ever used space-themed wallpapers, chances are it was this one. But Euclid showed it to us in a brand new way. This nebula is essentially a giant star maternity ward. Inside those clouds, new stars are being born right now. Some may even evolve into full planetary systems. For the first time, Euclid has captured the Horsehead Nebula not just as a silhouette, but in full detail. Scientists hope to find everything here, from baby stars to forming planets. The nebula also holds brown dwarfs, or failed stars, if you will, objects that didn't have enough mass to become full-fledged stars. Looking at these images means seeing at once both the past and the future. The Horsehead Nebula is 1,375 light-years away. This means that the light we see today left there 1,375 years ago. Yet, at the same time, we're watching the birth of future celestial objects. Perhaps among them, there's already a star that will have a system like our own millions of years from now. But this is just the beginning. What else has Euclid shown to us? There are places in space where we can glimpse the very cradle of the universe. One such place is the globular cluster NGC 6397, also known as Caldwell 86. This is a massive star sphere that contains hundreds of thousands of ancient suns and is located just 7,800 light years away from us. Think of it as a museum of stars, one older than we can imagine, 13.4 billion years old. That means it formed almost immediately after the Big Bang, only some 300 million years later. And this is where Euclid comes in. Why is this important? Until now, astronomers couldn't closely examine individual stars in the cluster's center. The fainter ones were outshone by their brighter neighbors, making them almost impossible to study. But Euclid's wide-field ultra-sensitive optics have, for the first time, allowed us to see the very heart of Caldwell 86. The cluster is packed with dim white dwarfs, stars that have burned through most of their fuel and are now cooling down. In a way, they resemble glowing embers of a fire that once blazed billions of years ago. But the most interesting part is that the cluster isn't moving the way scientists expected. Something invisible is affecting the stars at its center. Could this hint at the presence of a black hole, or perhaps a concentration of dark matter? Euclid may hold the key to unlocking how our galaxy was born and evolved over billions of years. Let's see some more stuff Euclid has captured. Imagine stumbling upon a photo of your long-lost twin, someone you never knew existed. They look almost exactly like you, but have lived in a parallel world. That's exactly how astronomers feel when they look at the galaxy IC342, also known as Caldwell 5. It's like a lost sibling of the Milky Way. This galaxy spans 75,000 light-years across and contains 100 billion stars, so it's almost exactly like the Milky Way, with one big difference. It's almost impossible to see. Why? Because it literally hides behind a wall of cosmic dust. Caldwell 5 is just 11 million light-years away, which in galactic terms is practically next door. But its unfortunate position means that the Milky Way's gas and dust clouds block its light, making it one of the hardest galaxies to observe. If this cosmic veil were to disappear, Caldwell 5 would be one of the brightest galaxies in our sky. For now, we can only see it in infrared light, and Euclid has finally revealed it in full glory. 
the telescope captured Caldwell 5's fine structure, including its spiral arms that closely resemble those of the Milky Way. Euclid also detected massive reservoirs of interstellar gas and dust, the building blocks of future stars. But why do we need to study this galaxy? First, Caldwell 5 is nearly identical to the Milky Way, meaning studying it could help us understand how our own galaxy evolves over time. Second, it belongs to one of the closest galactic groups to the Milky Way, and might play a key role in the gravitational forces shaping the structure of the cosmos. And let's be honest, peeking behind the cosmic curtain and discovering a giant that has been hidden from us for millions of years is just mind-blowingly cool. Okay, Euclid has unveiled Caldwell 5 in all its glory, but that's just one galaxy. What about thousands more? Usually, when we talk about galaxies, we imagine something gigantic, vast, and unique. But hundreds or even thousands of galaxies packed into a single cluster? That's a cosmic treasure trove of new worlds, almost beyond our comprehension. We've known about it for a long time, but we had no idea about most of its secrets. And where is this marvel? The Perseus Cluster is one of the most massive galaxy clusters in the universe. Located 240 million light-years away, it contains thousands of galaxies bound together by immense gravitational forces. Before, there was one problem. We couldn't see the whole picture. Many of the cluster's galaxies were lost in powerful infrared radiation, preventing even the best telescopes from detecting them. Naturally, until Euclid came along. A thousand new galaxies that, in a way, did not exist for science until now. Many of these are dwarf galaxies hidden in an infrared haze. They are building blocks of massive galaxies like our Milky Way. Gigantic threads of dark matter have also been detected. They stretch through the cluster, forming an invisible gravitational framework that the galaxies follow. The image released by the Euclid team also reveals over 100,000 galaxies beyond the Perseus Cluster. More than 50,000 of these can be used to study weak gravitational lensing. Why does it all matter? Perseus is like the chessboard of the universe, where galaxies collide, merge, distort under gravitational forces, and redistribute their matter. All this allows scientists to understand how dark matter shapes galaxies into massive cosmic structures, ultimately defining the structure of the universe itself. It turns out Euclid has given us the first map of this cosmic web. Thanks to this data, we can now trace how galaxies have evolved over billions of years, and perhaps even predict the future of our universe. Exciting, isn't it? Euclid has already delivered an overwhelming amount of data, which scientists will analyze for decades. Perhaps we'll get answers to some tricky questions. For example, does dark energy remain constant or change over time? Could the universe slow its expansion in the future? We may find out soon. Euclid's mission is planned for six years, but it could be extended. If the equipment holds up, it could continue observing for another 10 years, maybe even longer. Meanwhile, improved data processing algorithms will provide even deeper insights into the mysteries of dark matter. This new knowledge might uncover fundamental errors in modern cosmology. After all, humanity once had to accept that the Earth orbits the Sun, not the other way around. Who knows what we'll have to rethink after Euclid's discoveries?